So this is a, another meditation based on stepping through each of the chakras in turn until we get to the top chakra, the sasra. So the better state your chakras are in, the better you'll feel. And the better things begin to flow, not only the flow of your kundalini, but you'll notice also in your your day-to-day life how things flow much better. And so the chakras are quite important. So we'll begin the meditation by raising our kundalini and putting on a bandha. Okay, once you've done that, just hold your attention at the top of your head for a moment and just see whether you can feel your kundalini is a cool breeze above your head. All right, we come now to the Muladhara Chakra, we go back to the Muladhara Chakra, right at the base of the spine, where your body comes in contact with the ground, if you're sitting on the ground, or a chair if you're sitting on a chair. So just pay attention to the Muladhara for a moment. So as we pay attention to the Muladhara Chakra, just see whether you can feel an increased sensation of coolness. Okay, let's go to the Swadhisthana Chakra, which is the level of the groin. It's a lotus of six petals. And just see whether you can feel the opening out. As you have your attention on the chakra, just see whether you can feel an opening out of this chakra. When the Swadhisthana chakra is opened out, then we are better able to tap into our creativity. Yeah, so you become much more creative. Come now to the Nabi Chakra in the stomach. It's a lotus of ten petals. And the element is water. Just see whether you can feel an increased sensation of coolness of the Nabi. And the Nabi is important, especially on our day to day, because it's the chakra of our our health, our wealth, and our happiness. At this stage, you can just hold your right hand in front of your stomach and just see whether you can feel any flow of vibes from the Nabi. Okay, we come to the heart, the lotus of the heart and the chest. And the heart chakra is a chakra of 12 petals. The element is there. When this chakra opens out, then there's a tremendous sense of security and fearlessness. Again, just put your 
right hand in front of your chest and see whether you can feel any sensation of a coolness flowing off your chest. We come now to the Vishuddhi Chakra in the throat, the lotus of 16 petals. It's to do with our communication, our relationship with others, our connection to the whole. See whether you can feel vibes coming off the throat. Okay, we move to the Agya Chakra. At this point, you can massage the forehead, the center of the forehead with the right index finger, with a circular movement, clockwise. Okay, and now finally, we're back at the Sasra on the top of the head. We just sit. The chakras have opened out. It gives the wider passage for the flow of the kundalini so we should get a stronger experience at the crown of the head yeah, and just let the kundalini take you into that silence at the top of your head
alright